all over it. Andy is no technophobe, otherwise his state-of-the-art tractors would never leave the yard. However, new digital shooting stuff still phases him, especially when he's never felt the need for it before. We set for success then tonight, bro. I don't know, David. <laughs> this is all new to me. You know how I work. Everything I do is uh, with lamps. I'm going to feel lost tonight not having a lamp. But to show how simple the Blaser-owned Leemke thermal kit is, he's not only got to shoot some foxes, but also press record at the same time. Have you actually taken any shots at all? You must have zeroed it in. Yeah, we zeroed it in. It, Frederick from Blaser come down, because like I say, it's all new to me. And he come down, zeroed it in, he did it within, what did he do? Hang on, one, two, three, four. He had it on in five shots. It's got to grow on me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Most importantly, has yes. it got a record button, Crow? What, for this? Yeah. Uh, I found that bit out. It's on the top here. You push it once for a picture and then two quick pushes and then it, uh, it records. Well, you better fire it up then so we can have a look through. So I, I, I know what I'm doing. So you know what you're doing? Right, well, okay. So I can say, All right. can you see the flashy thing? All right, that's, that should be firing up. Hey. Are we on? Yeah, it's looking good. Andy's grandson Regan and his cousin Gary are joining us. We're going to be hitting some of the farmland close to Gary's place. <laughs> Something that may cause us a few issues is Gary's early warning system truck. The lights, the beeps and the whoops from his Ford Ranger make sure we always arrive announced. Not that it makes any difference here. Our first fox comes in beautifully. Gary films it through the Limca Kyla spotter. Good job as Andy fails to press record in all the excitement. The shot is back on the body. As you can see, the fox steps forward just as Andy pulls the trigger. Even so, the 243 ballistic tips are devastating. I haven't seen you do this in ages. Now, there's no expense spared with your fox calling, is there? No, there isn't. Uh, it seems to work as well. Um, I've been doing it for years. Um, yeah, and it is, but well, keep cheerful. You've just got to get the right, right texture of polystyrene. It wants some bigger balls, not smaller balls. Trust you to pick up on that. <laughs> well, you've got to be, you know, you've got to be precise about these things. You've got to have larger balled polystyrene. Yeah, big balls. Okay, and the smaller stuff just breaks up, does it? It breaks up and it's, it's shrieky, real shrieky and horrible. Oh, it's this, pitch, pitch is different. Yeah, yeah. You, this you can if you want it to, if you want it loud if you want it loud real shriek you just squeeze it or I didn't realise there was such an art to it. There isn't. <laughs> <laughs> I just wing it. I just wing it, it always works. <laughs> Anyway, we've got a fox. We've got a fox. I'm happy with that. That's two shots I've had with this now, and I've had two kills, so I'm happy. Simple and effective, and it doesn't run out of batteries. Our next stand is a frustrating one. These foxes, filmed by Andy through the Leemke Sperber 1 scope, are the wrong side of the river. It's not Gary's ground, and they seem to know it. However, what we do have is an abundance of rabbits on this farm. A really positive sign. I have had them jump swim the river but they're obviously not hungry enough them too but now they've come as far as the river the nice shots they would have been but hey ho and some rabbits one or two <laughs> <laughs> the location will remain secret definitely i know the location will be within the next fortnight <laughs> <laughs> they won't be where they are now they'll be in a chiller somewhere what's the price of a rabbit these days i've been off of three quid three really pounds. yeah up to three pounds so. Yeah, we'll see. Have you been foxing before, Regan? With Regan getting cold, we start back for home. Scanning the fields with the thermal, we spot a heat source in front of some houses. It's a cat. These units have to be of a standard, but species ID is the responsibility of the person behind the rifle. Gary, this is the first one you've had, but it's, it, you're pretty happy with it. Very happy, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I have nothing to compare it against, but 
I mean, what other people told me, like yourself, you know, use this and others, it's uh, it's really good. And the fact that you can identify different quarry, you know, like the cat, it was easy to see that it, it wasn't a yeah. wasn't a fox, you know. Continuing with our thermal safari and our last call reveals woodcock, dozens of them. These thermals are an amazing wildlife tool. It has been a productive evening, not just through shooting, but but through the watching what the scope can do, how it's performed. So yeah, yeah, so. Well, I'm hoping you've recorded yeah. them all, Craig. Oh, I don't know. I left it to you and Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to record some. Hopefully get out again and have another play. That'd be, be great. Well, we'll definitely be back on these again. It's been a frustrating night. We have seen foxes. The flip side is, would we have known some of them were there with the scan of a lamp? Maybe thermal spotters and scopes show us what we're missing. For more information about the Leemke Spotter and Scope range, head to leemke.com. <laughs>